Hello YouTube, this is Ali from Tech School back with another video and today you are going to learn how to make custom URLs for yourself which are easier to remember and which will help you access your website. Stay tuned. So the first thing that you are going to do is that you are going to open up this website tiny.cc just type that in your browser and it will open up now the first thing that you're going to do is click on sign up and then fill in all of your details including the security code and you will get a link in your email to confirm your email and after you're done with that your account will be confirmed I have already done that so I'm just going to log in and show you the process from there Yeah, I've logged in and as you can see I've already made a bunch of custom URLs now for example this is my YouTube channel and since I don't have a hundred subscribers yet YouTube is not letting me make a custom URL for my YouTube channel and I I have to I can't remember this code and I when if I have to tell people to visit my uh, YouTube channel or do uh, if I need to give them the link to my YouTube channel it's harder this way so I just copied all of this I went to the home page of tiny.cc and I just pasted the long URL here where it says uh, paste a long URL and then when it says custom you see it says tiny.cc forward slash custom I just typed tech school so that whenever I use this link tiny.cc slash tech school it automatically takes me it you see it redirects me to my YouTube channel automatically so that is that is why this is useful uh, another reason I am using this particular website is because it shows you when you click on my URL it shows you the statistics the st statistics that are that may be important to you if you want to keep track of how many clicks you're getting for example my th this this link or you can see this link this is my affiliate link for a brave browser for some reason it's not working right now though and I I didn't want it to be to look this way babe.com slash TEC335 because that just looks ugly so I just made a custom URL tiny.cc slash babe browser it doesn't have to be short because I think this is shorter than this but what this does is that it read this URL automatically redirects you to this URL and the advantage of using tiny.cc and uh, not using any other URL shortener is that you can actually see how many total clicks you're getting here and how many of them are unique and by unique they mean that out of these clicks how many people clicked on this URL that had different IP addresses that had unique IP addresses furthermore you can just click on chart here beneath any of your links and it will show you statistics the for the previous month seven clicks two clicks nine clicks six clicks zero clicks and then one click and when you click on all time it shows you on monthly basis in April I got three clicks in May I got 24 clicks in June I got four clicks and so on and here it even shows you the regions that are most common with uh, the people who click on your links and with what regions are they from it, it even shows you the web browser that they use so uh, we're not going to go into uh, much detail but this is the statistics that you can use by using tiny.cc so this was a short video uh, to show you how how to uh, make a custom short URL but as a bonus tip I'm going to include one more advice for you this is a website called Doctroid and you can upload any PDFs here so when you need to uh, print something and you don't have a printer and you have to go to a shop and you either take your USB and if you can't do that you log into your email address but if you don't want to do that if you think if they have key loggers and it's not safe or you just don't want to log in you can just go onto your computer and 
upload the PDF that you want to I don't know let's see this one you can just upload it click no thanks it will ask you to fill a captcha and you just have to do that click verify this is a large file I'm sorry I have to select something else yeah let's select this, this an essay I wrote so you just upload this you copy this the URL that you got and you can go to tiny.cc because you, you it's hard to remember this one so you just paste the long URL and you just name it document or anything that you want and it will automatically redirect you to your uh, document and you can just print it without having to log into your email and without having to worry about keyloggers or security so I I hope this was a helpful tutorial please like share and subscribe to our channel for more such content and I will see you next time